Hello, I'm Cam, the chair of the Herefordshire FA Youth Council, and today I'm joined by... I'm Dan Hoskins, the vice chairman of the Herefordshire FA Youth Council. And I'm Scott Russell, and I'm a football development officer at Herefordshire FA. Uh, I concentrate mainly on disability, inclusion and recreation. A nice, easy question to start, start off with. Icebreaker, what is your favourite film and why? OK, yeah, uh, favourite film. I mean, to be fair, I've got a few, but I've always liked Shawshank Redemption. Um, I just like the storyline and I like the fact that, you know, against the odds, they've managed to break away and get out of jail. So for me, Shawshank um, is probably the best one uh, that I, it's a go to movie for me, for sure. Uh, awesome. Next question. Nice hard one for you. Um, what is to become a football development officer? For disability and inclusion at Herefordshire FA? So I've been involved with uh, kind of football development or sports development ever since really I went to university. Um, I had a taste of it uh, in, a, in the role when I was in a school in Lincoln um, and then I had the opportunity to come back to Hereford after being away for about 12 years and this job came up and um, for me it was something a little bit different um you know i obviously knew a little bit about disability but i really had to get my teeth into it to understand you know just how much of a, a of an area i needed to cover so um yeah i've i've thoroughly enjoyed it ever since i've been doing it. i've been doing it now what three years um and i hope to keep it growing especially within the county is hereford fa youth focused well obviously with my role um I, I'm definitely going to say yes, because I'm heavily involved um, kind of advising the youth council that we have here at the moment. Um, but also, again, the development side, and I'm pretty sure Joe and Dan would be the same. Um, you know, we're all about developing young people and giving young people a voice. Uh, so that's with if it's Wildcats. Um, for me, uh, there's more we can do as a county and as a county FA, for sure. Um, but we're going around the right path. Uh, to kind of make it as inclusive and diverse as we can. Um, and I know that the Youth Council will have a massive part to play in that. All right, awesome. Next question is, why are, you, why are you passionate about mental health? I mean, especially in football, in the last kind of five, ten years, um, the last couple of years especially, it's kind of been brought to the forefront of everyone's minds um, because mental health affects everybody. Um, you know, in life, you have good days, you have bad days uh, and things can trigger your health, uh, your mental health. So really, it's just, a, you know, it's important that people know what pathways they can take. Um, I mean, I've I've been lucky enough that the HFA have given me an opportunity to do my mental health first train, first aid training, uh, which really opened my eyes about, you know, uh, what you can do to help. Um, I'm no expert, absolutely no expert, and I'm not there to tell people what to do, but um, I can point them in the right direction. And I think it's having that accessibility to people um, and to give them different options, because not everybody will want to, say, speak to myself or speak to you guys. They might want to speak to somebody online or, or through a text. So for me, it's massively important because we, we all get affected by it at some point in our lives. Um, so what do you think about the recent podcast series that the Youth Council did? I, I think they've been brilliant. Um, I think they've been really good. Uh, obviously, I've been uh, kind of editing them behind the scenes. Um, so, uh, you know, we've had like what, up to about an hour's footage on, on everything that we've tried to condense down to half an hour, which has been extremely hard because of the quality of what was being said. Um, what was refreshing uh, was to see young people talk about issues that probably you could say have a taboo and that maybe some won't talk about it or aren't comfortable to talk about it in public. Uh, but to give a platform with our, our YouTube page, that's HFA TV, um, then basically little plug there for you. Um, for me, it's just going to uh, encourage and, and open the door to more people to talk about uh, these issues that are very relevant um, and are only going to keep keep being talked about the the people who we can engage with especially with the younger generation is only going to be a positive so um yeah i think i think they've been brilliant and we've had a really good response from it as well so you know fair play to the to everyone that took part in it why did you become the staff lead of the herefordshire fa youth council so when i when i started hfa it was um it was obviously jody who moved over to worcester it was it was her kind of 
her area and I was asked if I'd like to take it on and I thought you know what um why not why not I like to think I'm a bit of an organizer um and I can kind of uh help help people uh develop and grow um and I, and I do I've been lucky with being a football coach and being involved with uh young people from from probably from the age of about 20 21 you know something like that um I, I think it's important that I can try and help them develop, if it be from a professional point of view, from a coaching point of view, sporting point of view, but not just within football, but from for life as well. You know, I suppose it's more of a, I'm an advisor and a mentor to some extent, um, but half of the time it's just communication and talking to people and, and helping when I can. Okay, so this is the last question before um, I hand back to Dan. So what 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 was your favorite episode of the podcast series and why and was it fun to record? So so yeah they they were all fun to uh, to like edit and and read through. I mean I'm probably the one that's listened to it three or four times in a row just to get the good edits. Um but for me my favorite one was probably the sexuality one because it was the hardest one. And and the reason it's the hardest one is because again it's something that not not a lot of young people or, or even older people will talk about. So for me, that was was a really really interesting one. And to be fair, you know we didn't shy on the questions. There were some challenging questions there, and every single one answered them brilliantly. Um, so for me, without a doubt, sexuality one it gained my interest the most. Brilliant, thank you. All right. Now it's back to my domain. Um, question seven is, I've, 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 the rest of your colleagues, Scott, they said you're the biggest legend of all time. But but you're in the lead so far. But it's a question for you. If everyone in the HFA team is feeling down, who's that one that comes in and cheers everybody up? I mean, I don't believe that I'm a legend first and foremost. Let's get that right. You know, I'm 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 just me, okay. Um, but you know, I like to have a bit of a laugh and keep spirits up. But I think if if anyone's down, I'm pretty confident that there's everyone. If that be from the admin side or the development side, we always pick each other up. We're quite a a close knit kind of group, if you like. Um, but that makes us work hard. Um, and our quality of work is good. So really, you know, I mean. You look at uh, an example, me and Diane, you know, we we quite happily will have a have a bit of a laugh of each other uh, and take the mick out of each other. I mean, obviously, with, with Joe and Dan, always take the mick out of each other because um, we're allowed to. Um, and then you've got Mr. Cotton, um, who's meant to be the serious one, who um, if uh, I say something that uh, he doesn't want to laugh, uh, but he, he, he raises an eyebrow and that normally means either it's a good or a bad thing. So that's that's quite good. But. Even up to Alan. Alan's quite laid back um, and, and we work well as a team. OK, so that was episode seven of our sit down with Team HFA. Um, this episode will be being put on HFA TV in the next couple of weeks. And thank you ever so much, Scott, for sitting down with us today. Cheers, guys.